Max, congratulations. Another win today, 4 0 against Altrincham. What did you make of the performance? Uh, I thought, obviously, the scoreline showed off time. We were very good in the first half and then maybe took our foot off it a bit in the second half, but we were 4 0 up, so maybe that's only natural. And uh, yeah, we'd, we were clinical in the first half and we'd have loved to add a few more in the second half, but it is what it is. We got the job done in the first half and we move on to Saturday now. Maybe it's more of a professional performance in the second half in Orchingham, maybe stood slightly more firm than did in the first half, weren't as easy to break down, and it's another clean sheet ultimately at the end of the day. Yeah, look, that's that's what I wanted at half time. I wanted a clean sheet. I know a few more goals would have been nice, but for us as a team, a clean sheet was the most important thing, and um, obviously three points. And yeah, as you said, they were tough maybe at times in the first half to break down, but as again, as you saw, set pieces played a big part. And that obviously led to us scoring a few goals. It must be a great thing for you to see. You were one of many aerial threats in that penalty area. You came close to maybe getting yourself on the end of Jordan's first one, but fell into his path and then going and get the opener. Yeah, I'm dying for a league goal, to be fair, but hopefully it'll come. It'll come at some point, and I've just got to keep going. And uh, you know, we've got such such good aerial targets like Az, obviously palms, toes when he's not throwing it. So I'm sort of maybe have a little more of a, a different type of role to try and distract people. But if I can try and nick something, I, w I will do so. Hopefully, I've got one coming soon. And today's game was the highest attendance ever for Wrexham in the National League with over 10,000 inside the race course. What's it like playing in front of those fans? Yeah, it's, it's so good. I heard the roar when, when they said 10,000. So it's a ridiculous number for this league. But, you know, these fans come week in, week out and hopefully they'll keep coming because they were a real help to us, especially in that first half when when the goals were going in. They were, they were putting them on the back foot with their cheering and... Even in the second half, and when we took off, off it a bit, they let you know to keep going, which is what we need. So hopefully keep going in the rest of the season and, and they'll keep coming in the numbers. Well, today's win's the 15th game unbeaten for the club. Just how important is that momentum that we're building at the moment? Yeah, it's very important, but I think we don't really look at maybe the run. We just look at the next game, the run. If we just keep taking it game at a time, then the numbers will keep adding up and hopefully they're just an extra three points. But yeah, 15 unbeaten is quite good, so... Hopefully, we'll, we'll keep going unbeaten for the rest of the season. Now it's been quite a while since we've been on the road. Obviously, Bromley was the last away game that we had away on Saturday against Woking. What do you expect to see from them? Another tough game. It's, it's in front of the cameras, I think, isn't it? So they'll be up for it. They'll want to put on a performance. I mean, I think we're a scout for anyone who wants to play us. They'll be looking to beat us and we'll be looking to beat them. So hopefully, we go there. We'll go there for full confidence and we'll hopefully get the three points again. That's on. Cheers, Max. Thank you.